Hey, Just Bricks here with a haul video for you. I'm going to start off by saying Happy New Year. Happy 2021. The longest year in history has ended. Um, my haul is going to be from the Lego store that I got today, January 1st. And this bag here came from Goodwill. And I guess I'll start off with Goodwill thing because it's just one item and it's not super exciting. But it's this black 2x2 two two storage brick. Still in the original packaging, which is pretty cool. You can see, boy, this was originally discounted at $12.99 from Home Goods, and then I paid $6 for it. So, not a bad deal, and pretty cool thing there. And the Lego store haul. Uh, now, I, sp I bought quite a few different things. Um, I wanted to make sure I got both promos that they had available today. Um, I got this set from the old, not old, but the previous wave of Harry Potter sets just because I wanted the centaur pieces and I figured that parted out pretty well. I got one of the new sets, the potions class, just because I had some pieces that I thought were pretty interesting and that think would have a good value to it. I'm not sure if that's going to part out well or not, but it's pretty cool. I ended up with the Book of Monsters promo, which I'm probably going to be trading this with Doug for one of the um, Charles Dickens Christmas Carol sets. I didn't get that promo, and he said that if I got this one, I should be able to trade it with him. But um, then I got one of the minifigure packs. It's about a two-time part out, but it's only 53 pieces, so I figured that would work pretty well. Um, there's some stuff that is not actually from this. It's a receipt from AutoZone and my car charger. I did get two random packs of the 2021 minifigures. That's kind of funny. Series 21. It's 2021. I wonder if they did that on purpose. But then we got... One Harry Potter minifigure to put me over the seventy-five dollars. Uh, the Trouble on Tatooine set. I've been looking forward to getting Mando and the Child, and this was a pretty affordable way of getting that. And last but not least, the Ideas set four hundred four four eight, the antique car, which is really cool. I was reading the description. It says that the license plate is. Lego upside down, the numbers 0937, so Lego. <laughs> and the AM, I believe that's the, the Lego designer and the person who submitted the set on um, Lego Ideas. I think that's their in first initial for both of them. And then something I picked up on my way out of the store were a couple of the sheets of these Elf Christmas. Um, Oh, my brain just blanked, but the labels for packages. What's cool with this is that Lego sticker is a actual, actually a separate sticker. It's not just the uh, Lego logo on the sticker sheet, which I thought was pretty cool. And I got a couple of sheets of those. And yeah, so that's my Lego haul for New Year's Day. So I was planning on ending the video with that haul, but I realized I haven't shown this yet and the video was only gonna be like three minutes long so I figured I'd go ahead and show you at least a rundown of this lot here I picked this up off of Facebook marketplace the other day I think I kind of overpaid a little bit um, I paid $300 for this container it worked out to about 35 pounds of stuff here maybe a little bit more than that but um, yeah so I Overpaid a little bit for what was here. I, I thought that there were two bags of minifigure parts, but it's really just the one. But, I mean, there are some good things like the polar bear, um, there's a horse, a couple Buzz Light ears, uh, Genie, just a few different minifigures. I might find something in there that makes me feel a little bit better about this lot. Um, let's see. Great. Knock something over. We got boat, uh, some plane wings. These wings here, I think, 
are only, I think there's only a couple of them on BrickLink right now. And I think I could have the cheapest one on there at six bucks. But if you look at the wing, it's kind of curved. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. Um, actually, I still have these pieces up here that I haven't added from a previous haul. Which I'll get them listed eventually, I think. Uh, some more plain pieces here. A bag of grays. Another bag of light gray. A bag of pinks. Um, a lot of these pink bricks here are actually mega blocks. And so I took a quick look at it before I left the person's house. But I don't know. I always get nervous when I'm looking at stuff. Especially what happened was they, they had it listed for 400 and I talked them down to 300 And, yeah, I don't know. I, I felt like it'd be a little rough to go there and say, hey, actually, I'm not going to buy this after all. And probably should have been like that. But, well, that's pretty good. I got a little dragon in there. That's nice. Uh, Super Battle Droid arm. Sand green bricks, metallic gold tile down there. And some more minifigure accessories and all in there. That's not bad. But, I don't know, for some reason I always kind of chicken out. We got a surfboard of some sort. Some yellows. Um, we got a bag of black parts. A bag of white parts. Now, most of the pieces I've actually looked at are in pretty decent shape they're not too dirty or anything but this bag looks awful <laughs> but it's not that bad in shape um i did feel okay paying a little bit more for this stuff because it is already partially sorted granted it's sorted by color and that's not the most useful thing for me but hey it it is what it is <laughs> and then we got the black parts there, a bag of tan brown and a couple white pieces in there, uh, a bag of dark bluish gray, I think in one of the other bags there's the conveyor belt for that part there, got a nice piece of string, some wheels, oh in fact I think yeah there's that the belt for that conveyor belt part. Um, these tread pieces here, I uh, actually just sold all of the dark bluish gray and the, uh, I think, medium nougat ones that I had in my store. Perfect time to get some more. Get those lots back. Uh, another bag of mixed parts. Um, those almost medium blue looking ones are mega blocks again, but on the most part it looks to be nearly all Lego. Just a couple bags that I've seen non-Lego stuff in. Some dark bluish gray. Uh, another bag of white parts. Some Buzz Lightyear pieces, Toy Story stuff. Uh, a bag of blue with a pullback motor. Some plates and things. A bag of transparent pieces. not seeing too much exciting there. Oh, actually that I think is from uh, the ghost train. Oh, yes it is. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. There we go. It's from the ghost train. I believe that piece there goes for about five bucks. We got some more browns. Dark brown. No. Some dark bluish gray, some non Lego pieces there. But some more like that. Got some orange parts. Nothing terribly exciting. Some red things. Uh, Ninjago spinner, it looks like. A TNT block. Some random other parts. And some big plates. Those are always good to have in your store. Oh, there's the tail from that cargo plane. Let's see. 
you got some red pieces that are kind of dirty, a base plate, Creo instructions, and nothing super exciting else down there. Now, something I didn't show you. I, there are some of the glow in the dark ghosts also from that glow, that um, ghost train. So that's what I'm new to look for. Because uh, I did actually have the instructions from a few of these sets. Uh, most of the instructions were in really bad shape. And so I didn't do anything with them. They're just kind of thrown off to the side. Waiting for me to decide to either recycle them or use them for... Um, I might use them for a collage or something like that. But yeah. Okay, so that's going to actually wrap up the video this time. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like, maybe subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like to say, any comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try and respond to all of them. So thanks. Till next time, y'all have a good one.